hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can implement parallax image header in react native so here you can see this is a detail screen of a product or a service so here at the top we can see the image and with the image we can see the header area which is transparent and here we have the back button the header title and the other icon which is the bookmark icon and after the image we have this content the, the screen content now if i scroll then here you can see this is the parallax scrolling effect where the image is scrolling little bit slower and the content is scrolling normally and with this scroll here at the header we can see the header is becoming the solid and now it is completely visible completely solid so this kind of parallax image header we are going to implement in this tutorial and we are going to do it with react native reanimated version 4 which is the latest version so if you are interested in these kinds of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so here i have created a new expo project with create expo app command and after that i have run npm run reset project command so by that i have just this index tsx file and layout tsx file so this is a single screen right now and this is perfectly fine for this tutorial and here in the asset i have added this nature jpg file okay so this is the image which i'm going to use as the header image and with that i have also added another package which is expo linear gradient so this is the setup and now let's start creating the ui first then i'm going to implement the parallax effect with react native reanimated version 4 so here you can see this is version 4 and i didn't need to install it because this package comes with expo by default but if you are using react native cli then you need to install this react native reanimated package and with that also you need to install react native worklets because the animations which i'm going to use this will work with this package so this is part of the react native reanimated with version 4 they have separated it so you have to keep this in mind if you are using react native cli otherwise with expo you don't need to do anything extra this is the plugin which is expo linear gradient i have installed other than that i haven't installed anything for this tutorial so now let's start creating the ui so here first i'm going to get rid of this center and then within it i'm going to create a scroll view and this scroll view needs to be imported from react native so it have been imported now within it i'm going to provide the image and i'm going to provide the image with this image background component this is also part of react native so we have imported it from react native and now let's use that for this image background we need to provide the image source so here as this is the local image we need to provide the require and within it we need to provide the path so assets images and then we have nature.jpeg so here we have assets images then within that we have nature.jpeg right so that is what i have provided and after that we need to provide the style and for the style let's provide height i will provide 300 and for the width i will provide 100 percent now save it so here we can see the image right here i will create image height constant and it will be 300 so here i can provide that like this now after that let's provide a gradient effect on top of it so that's why i have used image background otherwise we could have used image right so here let's close it like this and within it i need to provide the gradient so let's import something from expo linear gradient and that something will be linear gradient right so that i can use here linear gradient and for the linear gradient color we can provide multiple colors like this and let's provide the style and here for the style i will provide this style i don't need this children and here i don't need this height instead i will use bottom zero okay now let's save it so after saving here you can see we have this gradient effect 
right but i don't need this gradient effect like this i want this black to be at the top and i want to control it in a bit so let me show it to you if i change it from here to here then it will be like this but i don't want it like this i want to customize it a bit so we can control it like this so i can provide another color here and here the transparency i will provide 0.3 now save it so this is how i want it so without it it is like this okay and with it it is like this so there is a slight change and we can customize it as per our requirement okay so this is how we can provide the linear gradient here and then after the image background let's create a view and within the view let's create the title and here let's import the text from react native so here is the item title and then let's provide item description like this and here for this view style let's provide some padding and let's provide some height here so random height let's provide 500 okay so that we can scroll it properly right and let me increase the font size of it like this yeah and for this style let's provide okay so now it's looking good and instead of item description let's provide some dummy text okay so yeah it's looking good now let's customize the header and to do that we can use stack from export outer so first we need to wrap it with react fragment and then we can import stack from export outer so here it has been changed but we don't want it we want to provide header transparent as true so with that you can see that the header is literally gone but you can see the text right so header is not actually gone it it becomes transparent and whatever the content we have on the screen that push to the top so now we can customize the header so here let's provide header left and here i will provide icon first let's provide the touchable opacity because it will be a button which is not functional here but this is how the button should be so that's why i have created it now i need to provide the icon and that's why i need to import ion icon from vector icons so i don't need ions i need ion icons and for the name of it i will provide arrow back and for the size let's provide this so yeah that's how it is let's change it to 30 to make it little bigger now after that let's copy it again and this time it will be header right and here let's provide another icon which is bookmark outline okay so now it's looking good and here for the text also i have provided white color so that's how it is so the design is complete now let's implement the parallax effect so now to implement the parallax effect we need to first convert this scroll view to animated scroll view and for that we need to use animated from react native reanimated so we need to import it import animated from react native reanimated okay so it is animated scroll view and it is closed over here right and here we can see that animated then we have these components available we have image scroll view text view flat list right but here for this image we have used image background but with animated we can use image but not the image background so that's why i need to create another view which would be the animated view and within this i will provide this image background okay so here let's provide the style for this here i will provide the height image height and here for this height i will provide 100 percent now let's save it so nothing changes now we need to create a reference so here let's create scroll ref and we can create it by use animated ref and this use animated ref is also imported from react native reanimated and here let's provide type so it would be animated scroll view 
this is the type of it and we need to provide this reference here for this scroll view so i have provided it now after that let's create scroll offset and we can get the scroll offset by use scroll offset hook from react native reanimated and here we need to provide the reference okay so by this whenever we scroll we would get that offset value over here now we need to provide some style and that style we need to create by using use animated style hook from react native reanimated so here let's create const image animation style and here it would be use animated style this needs to be imported from react native reanimated and here we need to return transform translate y that is correct but here we need to provide interpolate and this interpolate is also imported from react native reanimated and here we can provide the value so here we can provide the value which is the scroll offset value then we need to provide input range output range so let's provide scroll offset value then for the input range i will provide minus image height 0 then image height and for the output range i will provide image height by 2 0 it will be minus image height by 2 0 and then image height multiplied by 0 0.75 so now let's provide that image animation style for the image and here the image is not animated this view is so here we can provide that let's provide it like this image animation style now save it now after that let's see so this is how it is working right so here we need to provide the background for this view so here let's provide the background color white okay so now we have this parallax effect which is the image is scrolling little bit slower and the bottom section the content section is scrolling at higher speed right now here when we are scrolling down especially for ios it is like this rubber band effect over here and for this effect i don't want this blank area to be present like this so that we need to provide something and for that i can provide scaling for this scale here also i have provided interpolate function and here the value is scroll offset and for the input range i have provided minus image height 0 then plus image height image height and then this this would be two times of the image size then one then one so let me save it and show it to you so when we are scrolling down that time the image is getting bigger so that is the two times of the image okay when it is normal then one and when in, we are scrolling up then also it is normal which is one right so that is the scrolling effect what we have done right now let me increase the height little bit okay so now here we need to provide that header effect so let's create header animation style and here also it would be use animated style and here we need to provide the opacity so right now it is completely opaque but when we are going to scroll up that time we want it to be visible right so see how we can provide that and here we can provide that with header background and here for the header background we can provide a view and for the header height i will provide 100 okay so here let's close this for a while so that's how it will display when we will scroll up so that is the header background and this needs to be animated view so that we can control okay so here i need that header animation style and let me change this view to animated view so that i can provide this header animation style and here we need to return opacity so here for the interpolate we have this scroll offset value and here for the input range we will have from 0 to image height 0 to 1 okay so opacity 0 to 1 whenever we scroll image height then it will 0 opacity to 1 so let's provide that style here now after saving here we can see it is looking 
as before now let's scroll so when we are scrolling that time we can see that this is how it is getting its opacity back this is how it is becoming the complete header right but here we can see that it is still visible so that we can customize here so here i have provided the input range 0 to image height so whenever we are completing the image height that time it is providing this one value for the opacity that i don't want i want it to provide this one value for the opacity before when we will reach here around this position so let's provide that so here let's see okay so now i think it is looking good yeah so we are not seeing this it is completely the solid color when we reach at this point right so that's how it is and here for this item title let's not provide the home let's provide the item title because this would be detailed screen for some product or service so this is how it would be right and by clicking on this button it would go back to the home screen so that's how it is so this is the tutorial i think you have learned something from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye